Hello, today's problem is below is DNA fragment isolated from the beginning of the gene. Determine which strand is transcribed, indicate the polarity of the two DNA strands, and then give the sequence of bases in the resultant message RNA and its polarity. And uh, if you know how to solve this problem, uh, or if you don't know, but you can always try to solve this problem, so you may stop video here and uh, when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is my um, way how to solve this problem. So imagine that we have DNA, uh, two, two strands of DNA and I would show them in different colors. And here we would have message RNA in the process of uh, transcription. And why I uh, choose the same color for the message RNA as uh, one of the strands. And this is a um, very easy explanation. Uh, here, one thing that you have to remember is that message RNA always... Uh, starts with 5 prime end. So this is going to be, even when you look at such picture and you don't know where is the 5 prime end, where is the 3 prime end, and if you know that this is message RNA, you always know that this is going to be 5 prime end. And uh, of course, this is going to be 3 prime end. And now we can also uh, tell all the a prime ends for the uh, DNA, so this is going to be mRNA, and this is going to be DNA, two strands, and uh, of course, if we have here uh, five prime end, and this is going to be complementary um, strand, so this is going to be 3 prime end here, 5 prime end here, 3 prime end here, and 5 prime end here. And as you see, our prime ends here and here and here and here would be the same. And that's why I use the same color for both these strands. More than that, uh, if for example we would have uh, on one strand, on message RNA strand, for example, um, uh, A, 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 uh, on the, um, on this strand here, we would also would have the same um, basis that would be adenine, 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 and uh, on the other strand that uh, here shown with uh, red color, we would have complementary bases, and this is going to be T, T, and T. So, as you see, uh, these two strands are also would have the same coding, and this one would have different one. So, this uh, would be complementary strand, and uh, we call this strand as template strand and uh, this strand would be coding strand. So this is going to be coding and this is going to be template. And uh, of course when we have uh, for example on the um, message RNA uh, basis like uh, uracil on the coding strand here we would have uh, xymine because uh, in the message RNA xymine would be uh, substitute with uracil and uh, when we have different bases for example um, C C and C of course here on the message RNA we also would have the same bases and uh, if we would have G, G, G here, 
uh, we also would have G, G, G here. So all uh, three bases would be the same, except uh, uh, Zymin that would be changed to Uracil on the message RNA. And on the template strand, we would have complementary um, bases that is going to be C would pair with, uh, for example, G. So here we would have G, G, G. And here on the complementary strand, we would have uh, C, C, C. Another important thing to know about message RNA that uh, somewhere at the beginning of the message RNA, you should expect to find uh, three bases that is going to be A, U, G, and this would be start codon. And uh, this is going to be orientation, so A, U, G would be 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. Or we also should search for the um, G, U, A in reverse direction. So because we don't know in which direction uh, DNA present here, and this is going to be two DNA strands. So we are, we should look for this um, three bases. And in order to find this three bases here, of course, we have to build a message RNA. And as you see, um, when we would find AUG here on the coding strand, we're also going to find um, A. T and G. In message RNA, uh, Zymin would be substituted with uh, Uracil. And now we can uh, start uh, searching these two strands of the DNA for this um, for this sequence. And let's check uh, the first strand that is on top. So we are looking for ATG that is equal AUG on the message RNA. So ATG. We are looking for AT, so AC here, and ATG. There is no ATG in this direction. And also we don't know, maybe this DNA uh, flipped over. So we also have to look for the uh, G. T A so in reverse direction so let's look for the G T A and this is G and so there is no uh, A T G or G T A on the top strand let's uh, search the below strand for the A T G and here is the A T and G let's ch let's uh, go to the end and there is no a T G and G T A G G T A uh, we cannot find but what we did find we we find A T G so what this tell us and this tell us that this is going to be five prime and so this is going to be five prime and here so this is going to be uh, three prime end, and of course uh, um, the second strand of DNA would go in the reverse direction. So this is going to be five prime end, and here is going to be three prime end. And also we can name these strands. So as you see, this strand that has ATG in the 5 uh, prime to 3 prime direction would be coding so this is also going to be coding strand and the other strand that is uh, complementary strand would be uh, template strand so this is going to be a solution of this problem and also you may have a question about why uh, start codon uh, is uh, over this region but not the first uh, codon 
here at the five prime end of the message RNA, and this is because this region here is called five prime end untranslated region. So this uh, fragment uh, wouldn't become uh, wouldn't be translated into the uh, protein sequence, and here we can find uh, shine Delgarna sequence to which uh, ribosomal RNA would bind and uh, translation would start uh, only from the codon uh, that is start codon or AUG so this is going to be beginning of the uh, protein production and uh, not this very end of the 5 prime end and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.